welcome back to my channel so in this video I am going to explain to you and actually show to you how uh, I am preventing uh, fungus diseases from spreading from orchid to orchid and um, funguses do spread uh, through spores uh, so uh, they spread through air and uh, sometimes we cannot uh, do much about that so uh, here in front of you, you have a uh, Zygopetalum uh, Luisendorf and um, when I have received this orchid, she was in perfect condition. These are some markings from hair damage and uh, that is okay, but the new growths, we can see, they have some uh, very dark uh, brown uh, spots, let's say, uh, markings more actually and uh, we can actually see that um, they affected um, only the new growths except this one i don't know how uh, this one ex escaped so this is how uh, they look like and they slowly progress into your orchid and uh, eventually the leaves will fall um, I will uh, talk about uh, many types of uh, funguses in this orchid so um, I don't really recall uh, their names but I will put you on the screen um, there is a very easy treatment for this we can see that actually we do have it here as well a bit and here as well so um, it does uh, spread uh, pretty fast but uh, not as fast as a uh, bacterial infection bacterial infections usually do take out um, your plant quite quickly so um, I am certain this is a fungus but um, this is promoted uh, by a very high humidity and uh, low uh, air ventilation so I guess that um, on a few nights I actually seen that uh, the humidity in my balcony was too high and uh, this is the first time one of my zygopetalums uh, does uh, get this infection in my care. Here I have another example, far less uh, extensive, uh, extensive than the other one but uh, as bad as the other one even though the spots are not as large uh, this uh, is another zygopetalum this is a um, zygopetalum trozy bloom and uh, this one came in my collection with this infection so um, it uh, does seem to work quite uh, slowly into the orchid so at this point I do know what uh, I need to spray her with and that um, makes me a bit sad because um, the first thing that you need to do when you are seeing this type of infection is to cut the affected uh, tissue so I will cut with a sterilized uh, scissor in a V shape and I will cut into healthy tissue uh, so that is the first thing you need to do when you are having large spots like this when you are having one of these cases where the spots are very very small um, if uh, they uh, stop after you spray once or twice with the, subs with the substance I will tell you you shouldn't uh, cut the leaves because uh, there is not uh, enough uh, damage, uh, damaged cells inside so the uh, leaves can still work uh, properly but when you have a bad infection like on this I would uh, definitely cut all the affected uh, tissue Another fungal disease I wanted to show to you it is on this orchid and so as I was saying um, another type of uh, fungal disease can uh, look uh, somewhat like this and this uh, looks a bit similar to spider mite damage but it is not I have checked really really well this orchid we can see that uh, it does have some very very tiny spots and they do spread this is the bad part so uh, your leaves won't look uh, very very good uh, unfortunately I have received this orchid a few months ago from a secret garden and I have seen this disease on many orchids but the disease wasn't uh, actually active so uh, once you spray the orchid uh, 
the fungus will die and uh, on this case you are not supposed to cut the leaves because once you kill it uh, it won't reappear unless you bring it uh, again with a new orchid here is uh, that at some point uh, the cells uh, really died and we can see that on the suitable bulb it also makes quite uh, ugly markings so I have uh, brought uh, this disease with uh, this orchid a few months ago and uh, I thought that the disease wasn't active because I have seen it in the past on other orchids but the disease wasn't spreading at all but since I have br brought this orchid in my growing space uh, I have uh, seen the disease spreading from this uh, orchid to other orchids to my Dendrobium nobile white actually and uh, some others um, and uh, I was sure it came uh, with this one and um, yeah at this point I want to cut this leaf because uh, it is way too affected and maybe this one as well at least the top part and I will leave the others and I will spray them really really well and um, yeah for uh, a few weeks once a week I will do a spraying with this uh, solution and uh, then uh, I will uh, see how that works in my opinion I do believe that uh, the infection will stop but we should wait and see and the last uh, fungal disease I want to talk uh, with you about today it is uh, this one that makes uh, brown um, markings on the uh, leaves and uh, in front of you you have a cutlam it usually affects all the leaves and they make uh, and uh, it makes them uh, drop prematurely uh, and uh, yeah uh, these uh, two actually three leaves uh, I should cut this one it is uh, just slightly affected in here we can see it does have a bit of a brown uh, marking but uh, I will see if it progresses after it uh, will be sprayed I will try now and find uh, some more examples here is uh, an example on a suitable so uh, the infection doesn't progress into the suitable because uh, in uh, this particular case the infection was killed quite a long time ago actually that is the way i have uh, received it from the seller um, what else here is another example so it can appear into many uh, uh, shapes let's say many types many types of spots we can see here on my doviana it also makes uh, some brown markings and uh, yeah uh, this is why I think that uh, regular uh, preventing uh, or preventive spraying so uh, it is uh, the best way to take actions and uh, now I will show to you how I will solve this issue so to prevent uh, the, these uh, fungus diseases to spread and uh, to kill them on the orchids that uh, are already infected I will spray uh, my orchids with a solution uh, here I have a pump spray and I put um, a 1 US gallon of water so about uh, 3.5 liters of water and uh, I added 5 milliliters of uh, Faison so I will uh, spray using the finest uh, mig mist that I can get and um, because it is a pump sprayer it will uh, do the spraying a lot easier now uh, when you have uh, orchids that are uh, infected or when you want to do a preventive, uh, or preventive uh, treatment like I want to do uh, you should spray uh, all the leaves and all the suitables um, you shouldn't uh, only spray the affected uh, areas because uh, the other ones can be affected as well even though the symptoms uh, didn't uh, yet uh, get uh, a hold on the orchid so alright guys I think this is pretty much all uh, I um, should also actually mention that you should wear gloves and a mask because uh, this uh, substance uh, does uh, stink for a bit <laughs> 
so uh, yeah and sh you should have warm temperatures because if you get uh, water trapped in the new growth you can rot them so yeah and uh, yeah do leave the windows open when uh, you do that and uh, today we have 27 celsius so that is a great temperature to do this um, treatment so alright guys if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!